Hello, it's Harpreet here from Ray White in Aspley. So today I'm with Mark from Jim's Building Inspections. Uh, so Mark is here with us today to answer most of the common questions that get asked by a lot of buyers out there when signing a contract or after signing a contract on a property. So hey Mark, how are you? I'm excellent, Harpreet. Thanks for having me. Thanks, man. So yeah, so tell us a bit of about yourself um, and what do you do out there? Yeah, no worries. So I'm a, a building inspector with Jim's Building Inspections, have been for five years now. Um, I love what I do. I love helping buyers and sellers uh, get through this process of buying yeah. a home. Yeah. So yeah, the most co common question is uh, how much does it cost and yeah. what does it cover and what it doesn't cover? Yeah, no worries. So the cost range is anywhere from three to five hundred dollars depending on, uh, you know, obviously an apartment costs less than a, a house. So yeah. uh, cost wise allow anywhere from three to five hundred depending on what you're buying. Uh, in terms of time, look, the average inspection time takes around an hour to get through a, a standard house. Um, with a bit of time, we obviously prefer to have you there for the inspection as well, so allow some extra time yeah. to run through yeah, at cool. the end. Yeah, yeah. So, so another question is why why do you need this um, yeah. pre-building and pest inspection report? Yeah, definitely. So if, if you were to buy a, a car, a second-hand car, chances are you'd get it looked at by a mechanic. So it's a no-brainer to spend half a million to a million plus on a house to not get it inspected uh, by a professional. So um, by getting it inspected, the idea is to raise any issues that you potentially won't know about uh, through looking at the property. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, so then what are the most common problems um, um, uh, that you find out there in the building and pest yeah. inspection report? So look, uh, every property is different, um, however, there's, I, I find on average four things that continually come up which will cause grief for buyers or sellers either way and uh, would potentially crash a sale should they be found. Um, first one's moisture related problems, so in the event a, a shower's leaking, just the cost factor in rectifying that is quite extensive. Um, the other one's movement related issues, so if a house is moving on its footing, shifting, subsiding, that's a pretty serious issue. Uh, termites is uh, unfortunately quite common and costly in the yard not so much of an issue. However, if they're in the house, um, that's obviously a, a big issue yeah. for that. And the most common, well, not, sorry, not the most common one, but what keeps coming up lately is DIY work and work being carried out by mm -hmm. unlicensed, unqualified people. So um, with the, the, the block and so forth, people want to have a crack at doing their own bathroom and it's, it's so it, it is mainly done by sellers, yeah. isn't it? So, so the question for, for the sellers there as well, yeah. that well, would you recommend for them getting a pre-building and pest uh, report yeah. done yeah. before putting their house on the market or even if they are thinking about selling? Yeah, yeah. so pre-sale inspections is becoming a, a bigger market for myself lately. Um, the idea being to identify these problems if they're there before the property is listed on the market, only so they can then be rectified and addressed um, Prior, prior to the property going under contract and having that contract at risk due to those issues coming up. Yeah. So it's just cool. about getting ahead of the game. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, no Mark. Worries. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Um, so that that's all for, for today. So if you guys have any question in regards to building pest inspection or any other uh, related to real estate, feel free to give me or Mark a call. Thank you. Uh,